are heading to one of the most Korean shopping malls in Singapore to catch the cast of the highly popular Korean action comedy, Jump. Powerful mid-air flips, deadly kicks, comical deliveries and lots of clowning around. These are some factors which have made the non-verbal show a mega hit in the worldwide theatre scene since its 2003 debut in South Korea. The story portrays a Korean family where every member is a master in martial arts. The stern grandfather insists that all members must keep their skills in tip-top condition, so he's constantly challenging everyone for an internal showdown. But eventually, they will be able to put their punches and kicks to good use when two fumbling burglars break into their house. Quite surprising to see a Korean can practice so Normally we see Kung Fu from China. Some of them are in fact catching it the second time. Uh, the, the previous one. 2007, how do you find it? Very creative. Very creative. In 2007, Jump was presented to a sellout crowd at the Esplanade, but the audience is still asking for more. Are you planning to catch it over the weekend? Uh, yes. There are three good reasons to catch the show. First is humor packed, second is action packed, and thirdly is live. So imagine, you know, doing all the flips in mid air without the aid or special effects is really difficult, and these guys have done it really, really well. So, Mr. Yang, can you tell us more about, you know, the popularity, the extent of the popularity of this show back in Korea? Yeah, like in Singapore, Jump is very popular in Korea. Popular. Yeah. So if I were to hit the streets in Korea, in Seoul, in Busan, and ask anybody about the show, they will know yeah. it? Of course, uh, every Korean knows ah. about uh, Jump very well. In fact, Jump is so popular that a theatre has been built in downtown Seoul three years ago, specially to house this performance. Jump is one of the highlights of the Korea Sparkling Festival. Visitors to Korea can also catch another highly acclaimed show, Nanta, where knives and other kitchen utensils are used to create infectious rhythm. Other traditional culture performances and an international b-boy contest are also in the lineup. So if Singaporeans want to go to Korea and participate in all these events, all these activities, but they don't want to, you know, fork out money at all, is there any chance for them to win tickets to Korea? A Singaporean uh, can look at the, our website. Our Singaporeans are entitled to get a, a ticket. Oh, mm. to air tickets to yes, Korea. Uh, okay, so what do they have to do in this contest to win themselves the tickets to Korea? To select uh, one favorite a Korean movie star mm. and music star mm. among 10 oh, celebrities. Okay, the Hallyu, Hallyu, Hallyu star. star. Yes, the Korean star who gets the highest votes will appear at the last stop of a 15-day sparkling road trip in Korea. This is the top prize for a YouTube talent contest organized as part of the Korea Sparkling Festival. You can join by showcasing your career-related talent, be it singing or dancing in Korean or cooking a Korean dish in a video clip. The contest ends on 11 October and details can be found here. Well, the show will start running from Friday to Sunday for three days and tickets are selling fast. And most importantly, for those of you who have bought a ticket, remember to be punctual because the 80-minute show has no intermission.